the lingering aroma, the sensation of taste, and the feeling of contentment. Mm. I love to eat until my belly is full. Reminds me of a famous saying in Spanish, the belly rules the mind. <laughs> now, depending upon the food we eat, our belly, or scientifically speaking, our gut, can decide how we feel. Almost as if it has a mind of its own. But wait, do you know we have a second brain in the gut? Let's find out. To answer this, let's see what's in our gut. The gut, which starts at the esophagus and ends at the intestines, contains 200 to 600 millions of neurons. This network of neurons controls important functions of the body, such as movement of muscles in the stomach, the secretion of digestive juices to break down the food, and the movement of the muscles in the intestine. This second brain, consisting of a network of neurons, is also called the enteric nervous system. Enteric means intestine. So when the food we eat reaches our intestine through the stomach, it uses contractions to push the food through its length. And guess what? The brain is not controlling these actions entirely because the ENS can control the gut function on its own. So how does this second brain dictate our emotions? It does that with the help of some very close friends, gut microbes, trillions of them. These microbes are living in colonies inside our gut. They are called gut microbes and they differ from person to person, just as unique as our fingerprint. They've been there since, well, ever since we were infants. <laughs> Don't worry, they pay their rent in the form of vitamins and by doing some work for us. What work do they do? When the food we eat reaches our intestine, Cut microbes break it down into simpler components. They supply nutrients, regulate our metabolism, and help fight diseases. But what else are they doing that influences our emotions? Apart from all the above work, the gut microbes, specifically the gut bacteria, release hormones or neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are the body's chemical messengers that allow the nervous system to communicate with other parts of the body. These neurotransmitters are transmitted between the gut and the brain using a nerve called the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve acts like a super highway for chemical signals to travel to and from the brain gut bacteria directly stimulate neurons of the enteric nervous system to send signals to the brain via the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve is also connected to the other vital organs. Depending on the neurotransmitters produced, the brain interprets these signals and influences our mood and emotions. Neurotransmitters produced by gut bacteria like acetylcholine, serotonin and norepinephrine affect emotions such as sadness, depression, anxiety, fear or anger. What's even more fascinating is that gut microbes are the main source of our happy hormones. They are responsible for the production of 50% of the body's dopamine and 90% of its serotonin. This relaxes the brain and puts us in a happy mood. That's why our feelings of happiness are so closely linked with food. We feel so content when we eat a hearty meal. Have you noticed how angry we get when we are hungry? Or rather, have you experienced hangry?
Well, that's just the brain telling your gut to make more happy chemicals and the gut telling the brain to eat food in order to do that. Scientists have done experiments to prove that brain health can be improved by changing the bacteria in our gut. So whenever you get butterflies in your stomach or you sense that something is wrong, listen in. Your gut is trying to tell you something. Now you know those gut instincts were true after all. And for more conceptual clarity and to know the unknown, press that little subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification every time we go online.